just playing with the stick in the same way that a little puppy would play with the stick. Now I'm just going to give you an idea of how far away from each other they are. They're about they're about 100 meters from each other, you know. That's about 330 feet, 325 feet from each other. So that is quite a distance. They will be aware of where each other are, but more and more. Now, Michael, you say that you can tell the difference between these two cubs by looking at a their foreheads, and you say that Charlotte has a wow pattern on her forehead that George does not. Now, I have to confess to you, I don't see that, but I'm not disputing it at all, because it took me a long time to be able to see the wow on the front of Karula's forehead. For me, apart from the eye color, which will change, if you look at George, he's very clearly got three spots on his left and three spots on his right, and Charlotte has got four on her right or our left. She's got one above the other, above the other three, and that's what I mean is under, just above the whisker line there, you can see the three on her left, our right or at least on his left, our right. There, just next to his nose, you can see those three spots. Now, Charlotte's got a very similar pattern, but on the other side, there's a dot just above them. And that looks like a sort of uh, what I describe as her Cindy Crawford mole, and that's how I know the difference between them, other than the eye color. This is brilliant. This is a wonderful sighting, everybody. I know that it's not the best view in the world, but we're sitting here with a little leopard cub, five months old, completely relaxed around us, not in the slightest bit worried about us. Davy, if, if I go forward, are you going to be able to film under this branch, or is it going to be in your way? I think it would be better, Dan. Okay, let's try. I think it's you asking, um, what are the success rates of the animal, of the cats in Africa? I'm assuming you're meaning the sort of ages uh, the, or the number of survival, or the, the surviving rates that they have. Leopards, probably two in ten, uh, one in ten males go to adulthood uh, or independence. I'd suspect probably three in ten females. And I think you'll find that with the cheetahs, it's um, probably... Phew, Probably two in ten get to adulthood independence. Lions, definitely only one in ten males get to independence and dominating the territory. And again, probably three in ten females. So not very high. I'm just going to quickly call Herbert on the Game Dog channel.